had me at bacon. <laughs> Everything's better with bacon. Yep. We're making potato leek and bacon soup tonight. I'm just gonna open up my bacon. And you're probably right. I should have used scissors. It's okay. Really? You're just gonna like rip it open? Ta-da! Wow, so strong. <laughs> I'll just use a knife. I'll just use a knife. I have 375 grams of bacon. That's probably approximately three quarters of a pound. If you used a pound of bacon, that would be fine, I think. I really like potato leek soup. I don't make it that often. What is it about it that you like so much? I don't know, the creaminess, using my hand blender. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut up the bacon into small pieces. All right, we're turning on the saute mode on our pressure cooker here, and I'm adjusting it to, this is adjust. Can't see uh, the buttons. No. That's nope. steam. Where's the adjust button? Oh, here, two more. So basically we're just making bacon bits because we will use this on this garnish for the top. The pot is finally hot. I'm gonna add my bacon. Okay, we're just gonna saute that until it's cooked. So in the meantime, I'm gonna peel my potato, cut up my leek. All right, so I'm going to cut up my leek to wash. I don't know if you can see, but on the inside, uh, there's a lot of sand and dirt. Look at that, so gross, right? Um, so you need to be able to wash the leeks inside. So what I'm gonna do is slice it down the middle, and you only wanna use the white to the light green part of a leek. And when you're washing it, just make sure you run the water in between each layer. Okay? I'm just gonna run the water all the way through. How are we doing with the bacon? Almost done. So I'm gonna slice up my leeks. I had about two pounds of leek. Just three large ones. And I have about, what did I say? Three pounds? No, two pounds. Three large leeks. Three large leeks, two pounds. And potatoes, I also have about two pounds of just russet potatoes. And I've peeled them and I'm gonna chop them up. You see how red my hands are? Yes, why? Because I was washing the leeks in cold water. I don't know if our viewers know, but I'm allergic to touching cold. I know it's a weird thing. It's an actual thing. It's people. an actual thing. What's it called again? Um, cold uticaria. So when I touch cold, or when I am cold, I break into hives, or my, in this case, my fingers get swollen and they're extremely itchy right now, which is really gross. You're not gross. The thing is gross. Oh, sorry, I thought you were. <laughs> right, the bacon is near done, so I'm going to cancel. But I'm gonna turn it back on to just normal. Not um, more. Not more. <laughs> but I am gonna scoop out my bacon. You mean you can't turn off the, or you just can't switch saute modes? You have to actually go right out, like cancel Yeah, and you have start to cancel again? it and start it again at the heat that you want it at. Oh, that's not very intuitive. Well, there's only so much you can do. I'm just draining the bacon on a paper towel. The excess oil. You know what, you would burn your finger and then you'd burn your tongue. Try to get it off your finger into your mouth. 
That's, you know what, guys? That's exactly what would happen. In my quest to jam lava hot bacon into my mouth, that's what would happen. My wife knows me well. You turn around for a second and what does he do? All right, I poured out most of the bacon fat and I've left about three tablespoons of bacon fat. It's just estimated. If you don't want to use bacon fat, you can use oil instead. So pour out all the bacon fat and just use oil. Okay, I'm gonna get this started. Before I chop up the last two halves. I think we need one of those signs above the area, the, the studio here that says 365 days without injuries with the knife. <laughs> but is that true? <laughs> <laughs> that smells amazing. I love the smell of leeks cooking. Leeks and garlic and onion and ginger. Not all together, just. All right, so we're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm also going to add three cloves of garlic. And you can add as much or as little garlic as you like. If you don't wanna add garlic, you don't have to do that either. I'm just gonna chop up my potato into one and a half inch cubes. All right, I don't think it's been 10 minutes. I think it's probably well, five to seven minutes, but it's cooked down quite well already. I want it completely wilted. And another great thing about cooking onions and things like that after you've sauteed bacon is that it just deglazes the bottom of the pan, your pot. So it gets all the flavor in the bottom in there. I'm gonna add my, I'm gonna, let's say cancel. Yes. I'm gonna add the potatoes. I have a few sprigs of thyme. That's probably about three or four sprigs of thyme. And if you don't have um, fresh thyme, you can use about a teaspoon of dry thyme. Have a giant bay leaf and a salt and pepper. I don't know, like a teaspoon of salt and um, a couple of grinds of pepper. And I'm going to add about six cups of chicken broth. If you have fresh chicken broth or homemade chicken broth. Yeah, aren't you gonna pour it the other way where it's like... Oh, so it doesn't glug, glug, glug? Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, apparently yeah. that's the way to do it. Does it still glug? It does, but not as much. But then you get to this point and then it's like, well, what do you do with the rest of it? Oh, true. <laughs> it still glugs. <laughs> So that was four cups. Each one of these Tetra Packs is about a liter. A liter is four cups. So I'm just going to estimate. Okay, it's good. And of course, I don't have my lid. We'll be right back. All right. Putting on the lid. I still can't do it backwards. There we go. Making sure the ceiling knob is on ceiling. And we're just going to cook this for 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna use manual and bring it down to 10 minutes. Now all the different models of Instant Pot are different in terms of what they call that, what used to be the manual button. I think on the newer models, it's called pressure cook. I'm not even sure. And then on the Ultra, there's a dial. Um, whatever it is to set your pot for 10 minutes on manual, no, 10 minutes on high pressure. That's what you want. So here's a little tip for you all. I often keep my parsley and cilantro in uh, water as if I would keep fresh flowers. 
and I do find that they last longer when you do that. And I don't even have to store them in the fridge. Um, just change the water every other day and um, just so that the water doesn't go gunky. And try to keep the leaves out of the water because the leaves are what makes the water um, murky. I'm just chopping up some Italian parsley for our garnish after. Wow, that looks serious. What is it? <laughs> it's my hand blender. Do you think that should be good enough? Oh yeah, that'll reach the think. bottom. All right. Let's see if um, I can. Oh, like, is it gonna this. splutter? I hope not. Because I'm gonna stand way back here. All right. Oh, it looks yummy. Okay, first I'm going to take out the sprigs of thyme. I don't mean to be sarcastic or anything, but you know, when you open stuff up for, they see how it is. Like you really wouldn't say, you open it up and say, ew, that's gross. Haha, <laughs> 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 found it. All right, so keep track of how many sprigs of thyme you put in. In case you have to fish it out. All right, we're gonna blend this up first. Do I need to stand back? <laughs> Looks awesome, right? All right, I think that's good. And if you don't have an immersion blender, you can always use your regular blender. I would just suggest not um, putting in more than half a container of soup as you blend it up. Because of the heat, it could like explode and you don't want to do that. I am going to turn it back, the saute mode back on because I need to add my cream. And just regular heat is fine. Or you know what, I'm gonna adjust it to low. And I'm just adding one cup of whipping cream. And I'll just wait for this to heat up a little bit first. All right, so just to show you the texture, it's quite smooth. If I put it in the Vitamix, it'd be even more smooth. But I know you don't like it like that. Talking to dude. Oh, right. He actually prefers chunky soups. I do, because it's more quote-unquote rustic. Yeah, well, this is very French and... French. <laughs> Thanks. Whatever that means. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we're just going to heat through, heat the cream through, and then... Uh, I'll let Duke check the taste, whether or not it needs more salt and pepper. And if you find that it's too thin, you can either keep simmering so some of the water evaporates, or if you find it too thick, you can always add a little bit more chicken stock and um, thin it out. All personal preference. Yep. Shouldn't give you too much, otherwise you'll burn your tongue. That's true. A bit of bacon. A little bit of parsley. Why being so cheap with the bacon? Because this is just for the taste. You can have more bacon later. And it's time for... Dun dun dun. Hey there. <laughs> it's the taste. You look so proper, but you're not. I am so. You make me out to be someone I'm not. I'm really prim and proper. Mmm, it's got a great smell to it. Is that a right word? Smell? Like, it's it smells great. To... Oh, okay. It's got a. It's. It smells great. Not. It has a great smell to it. <laughs> well, so long as it doesn't stink, I guess. Yeah, it's true.
Kidding. I'll try not to burn my tongue. Mmm. It's got a really nice, rich and complex taste to it. And it's, you start off with the bacon and you add the leeks and all that and layer on the flavors. Mm -hmm. It really shows through on the, on the soup. Oh, good. Um, and also appreciate that it's not a heavy handed soup. You, you look at it, it's like, oh, it's, it's a very, it's going to be a really, really um, heavy and, and creamy soup, but it's actually quite, uh, quite delicate in terms of the, the flavor and the texture. Great. Mm. And as for blended soup, I usually like it, you know, unblended and chunky and all that, but this is quite nice. It's not neither too thick nor too light. Perfect. So mm. Oh, too much. All right. All right, so another easy soup recipe, serve it with bread, maybe a side salad, and you'll have dinner. So we're looking forward into digging into um, the nice loaf of bread that we purchased today mm -hmm. and enjoying our dinner tonight. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't already and let your friends know, share. I'm on social, come find me. Facebook, where else? Instagram, Pinterest, yes. Twitter, Patreon. Come and support me there. Well, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. Yep, that's true. Channel. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.